guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another video. My name is Phil, or Epix, um, if you are new. And uh, yeah, today I'll take you through, we went to Essex on a little bit of a game hunt. Um, it was an awful Sunday, so I was meant to go out, didn't. As you can see, stacked my bike on the Saturday. And then weather was horrendous to Sunday, so it was kind of a good thing in a way. Um, so yeah, me and the missus jumped in the car, went down to Essex. Haven't really been game hunting um, there, really. We went once, it wasn't overly good where we went. Uh, so we thought we'd uh, try out some new places. Um, so yeah, sit back, relax and enjoy. So we went to uh, two game stores and one which is toy and game store which is where we'll start so yeah first place was nerd base um i will put the details down below of it but yeah here's some footage and then we'll go through what we picked up after <laughs>
as you can see, absolutely incredible amount of toys. They had loads of pops, loads of retro toys, like stuff that was, you know, giving me chills that I had when I was a kid. And none of it was overly silly money. It was all reasonably priced. Um, they had a small section of games, kind of a little bit of everything. And again, nothing was overpriced. It was all pretty reasonable. Um, we only picked up a few bits, which to start off with, we got, um, or I got, Maxed Out Racing on the PS2. It was only a pound. Complete. I will change the case to a blue case because I've got a spare one. Um... And the missus picked up Goosebumps Horrorland on the Wii. Just one she hadn't seen before. So, grabbed that. And again, she grabbed Death Junior Root of Evil on the Wii. Again, another game we hadn't seen before. And again, complete. Um, then after a little bit of a wait because I they were short staffed I got them to open the glass cabinet because they did have a game that I needed a manual for and that is Fantasy Zone The Maze so it's not bad condition there's a little bit of a lift on the outer but the reason I got it was literally for the manual just need to iron the crease out here and we'll be all good so yeah that's another manual ticked off the list and yeah that was a uh, nerd base so after there we drove not even 20 minutes down the road and went to miso retro miso retro games which that's the flyer for it and the website and that is the address so I'll stick some footage in now and uh, yeah I'll show you what I got after also while as we walked in uh, Retro Ed was there so yeah did say hello and had a little chat with him off camera as well so yeah really nice to see Ed again and uh, glad he's doing well um, but yeah I'll put some footage in now Nice. Retro Ed. Huh? Retro Ed. Hiya. Hello mate, alright? Alright. Right. Yeah, how you doing? You right. right, pal? Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, not bad. Good, Hello, good.
as you can see in the footage, it's not a massive store, but it's really well laid out. So you walk in, you've got a, like the center is all PlayStation One, which the guy was actually saying that he's selling loads of at the moment. And then you just basically go around to the outer wall, and all on top is just boxed consoles, peripherals, but they are all really, really good condition. Um, he had such a good variety of games boxed for kind of every system. Um, you know, ranging from your, your Spectrum Atari up to your newer consoles. Um, I did go through basically every Mars system um, game. Unfortunately, didn't have any manuals that I needed, but we did manage to pick up a few bits. The first one was boxed and complete on the NES. Hook. So I won't take it out of the protector, but it is fully complete. Uh, with the manual and then the other thing we picked up was oh, mask system rental case has both the clasps which is what I've been waiting for then inside I don't know how to do this huh. So you've got one controller, the AC adapter, aerial and the Mars System 2. So I have a light phaser to add and I have a aerial um, or an RF block to add to it as well. So that's all good, really happy I got that. That's the Mars System 2 with Sonic built into it. Um, so yeah. Guy was really nice, um, took a bit of money off for me as well, which I didn't ask. So yeah, always really good to see. But yeah, if you are in that area, please pop in, see him. And yeah, he'd say he has just such a wide variety of stuff. I don't think you'd be disappointed. Um, from there, I think we did another probably 20 minute drive down the road and we headed to the Retro Hunter. So yeah, I'll chuck some footage of that in now.
that was the Retro Hunter, uh, Leon C. Again, such a good space, really well laid out, and something for everyone. So, originally there were people in the, the main store, so I went through and was looking at the toys. As I say, you see me point out Little Turtles um, game, which I remember having as a kid. And then obviously the Castle Grayskull. Yeah, some really, really nice bits in there. Um, then in the glass cabinets, a lot of the loose games and peripherals. I had plushies, magazines. And uh, I say then went through to the game section. And just a bit of everything, basically. There was, you know, from, from again, from Atari um, all the way up to your modern bits. And I like the way the modern section was kind of pushed to one side. So that the retro was the main of it. Um, but yeah. So while I was um, going through. Well while I was recording. The missus was going through the Super Nintendo um, games. And found a couple that she wanted to add to the collection. So she picked up Box Complete Super Tennis. Ignore the prices because um, we got a deal. And Jimmy Connors Pro Tennis Tour. So they're both boxed complete. And then not bad condition. Um, and then as I say, going through the uh, Master System games. And he did have a few that I needed manuals for. So first one was Submarine Attack. So some of these will be upgrades as well. Um, a lot of them have got the hang tabs uh, back to the future 2 I feel like this is right in price since I originally bought it uh, fire and forget 2 uh, tennis ace for some reason I didn't have the manual for that American Baseball. The reason I'm not jumping and putting these straight into um, the games I already have is I've just bought 250 uh, manual protectors and um, another couple of hundred box protectors. So I'm going to go through and get every manual into a protective sleeve. Then as soon as it's complete, they'll go be going in the box protectors. So that's why I'm not doing it like I normally would. Um, the last game we picked up from there is Hang On. And so, like I said, he worked out a deal. Because we bought a little bit. And yeah, really nice bloke. Stood there chatting for ages about all sorts. Retro pricings. Um you know stuff that we're into so yeah really really nice bloke if you are, ever are in the area please go and see him um, I do need to message him about a few other bits that um, I still need or would like anyway um, but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video if you ever are in the Essex area please do go and check out these stores and yeah please like comment subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.